welcome back. I hope everybody is doing okay out there again today. Now today I'm gonna be making a couple little um what am I making? Candle holders for you guys. Now I tried to draw up some cute little inserts for them last night, but I fed up pretty bad, so we're not doing inserts today, guys. But I'm sure I can come up with something really cute. So let's get into it and see what I can kind of come up with. On a whim. All right, you guys, so now it is time to get started. Now today we're gonna be making two different little, for God's sakes, I keep forgetting what it's called, uh, candle holders. So make sure you have your gloves on there so you don't get any irritation from the resin. So today I'm sort of attempting redemption with these little flowers. So what we're gonna do is fill this up halfway. I'm gonna add a little bit of this cute berry Mika powder and then we're gonna add the flowers into it. Of course, you guys all know that you need to add one part of hardener into your little mixing container that does have some measures on the side so you know exactly how much of each you're pouring in because that is very crucial. Like every great duo in history, you can't have one without the other, so make sure you're pouring in equal parts of the resin. Now set your three minute timer so you can very calmly mix your resin and your hardener together. So using this very cute makeup powder color, we're just gonna put a little bit in there and not make it opaque like normal, just a little bit see-through because we want that candle light to come right on through. I know you all have probably been in anticipation for me to finally mention the glitter on the side. And of course, yes, we're going to be putting glitter and opal into both of these candle holders because you can never have too much beauty in something. So why would I hold back with glitter? Now I'm just gonna fill up the mold about a little bit over halfway and then we're gonna set it to the side for a few hours. So for the second one here, I'm just gonna use a little bit of this blue here called Haze. It kind of gives me Cinderella dress vibes. So with both of these, I was trying to achieve a nice kind of translucent color so it wasn't super opaque, but as you can see at this point, I end up putting quite a bit of the blue in it and I realized that it might be a little bit too much to make it see-through. So we'll just have to see at the end how it ends up looking after I take it out of the mold, you guys. Now it's time for my favorite part, adding the glitter. Now this glitter has really tiny flecks of dark blue, has bigger flecks of light blue, and a little bit of pink glitter. So I'm betting this is gonna look pretty damn cool against a candlelight, you guys. I am so excited. And for this one, we're just gonna be filling it up halfway and letting it sit for three hours to set up. All right, friends and fam out there, this is finally the time that I am attempting redemption with these flowers. So in each of these, I'm gonna obviously color coordinate because I do that in every video, because why wouldn't I? So I'm gonna be putting some red, pink, and a little bit of light colors into the pink one. And in the blue one, I'm gonna be doing turquoise blue and a little bit of light colors just to kind of encapsulate the essence of each of them. So since my flowers are all stuck in there, I'm going to attempt to match the color that I'd already poured in there by just winging it. So this is probably going to end up just as you would expect it to, but we'll see what I can do. Okay. 
So at this point, I did kind of notice I'm pretty sure that the mixture is a little bit more opaque than the other one, so I made the creative decision to make this now a gradient candle holder because I'm in charge, so I make all the rules. All right, so this time I decided to add a little bit more of the glitter and I'm actually going to be adding some opal into this one. I just have an unhealthy obsession with opal. How could you not? It is literally beautiful. So for the third layer here, what I'm going to be doing is add a little bit more of the Berry Mika powder to make it more opaque, more glitter, and more opal, just so the top layer has a little bit, the middle has a medium amount, and the bottom is well saturated with it. Alright, so since I made the decision to do gradients, I'm making this second mix here a little bit more opaque than the first one, and I'm going to add a little more glitter and a little more opal. And for the final layer here, we're going to just saturate as much as we possibly can to make it look good with the blue, the glitter, and of course, opal. Alright friends, so we are of course getting very close to the last step. Now we just have to wait 10 more minutes to get rid of the bubbles that rise to the surface. Alright you guys, so now it's time to get rid of those bubbles and then we get to wait 72 hours to see if I made something kind of cool or just an entire disaster. Alright you guys, so it's been a few days, so now it is time to unmold these guys. Now my guess is as good as your guys' on what these look like in here because I kind of blindly went into this without really any plan at all. So let's unmold these and see what I did. Alright you guys, so let's see. Let's start with the blue. It's happening, it's happening, I swear. Okay. Okay you guys, so here is the first one. Now, as you guys can see, the flowers like are on the side there, but I think because I didn't make it see-through enough, you can't really see them that well. But they didn't move, so that's a plus. But there is the first layer. I can see the second layer where I poured, and the third one there is kind of there. Like you can't see through the bottom, and you can kind of see through there, but yeah, overall it's not bad. Look at the inside though. Look at how cute that is, and look at all the little sparkles on the top. I love it. It's not bad though. Okay, for just doing random stuff because I messed up what I was going to do, not too bad. Let's see the pink one. Oh, this one is so much cuter. Sorry, blue one. But look at this one, you can actually see the flowers. Oh, that's cute. This one, the layer is a lot more clear just because I did make this one so thin, but I really like how this turned out, how you can see through it like that. That's exactly what I wanted for this part. And the sparkles on the top look really good. And the second part, you definitely see the separation of that third layer, the second layer, and this first one. So this, this pink one turned out pretty good. The inside with all the opals and the sparkles. I think these are actually really cute. You see the sparkles on top. Overall, these turn out not too bad. 
you have a little bit of flowers. You do see a little bit in the blue, not too much, but the pink one turned out pretty good. You see all the sparkles on the inside. I'm excited to see how these look with a candle, you guys, because that is the real test. So let me pop some in and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so the lights turned off. Here's the first one. And the second one. All right, so here's the blue. Oh, it's so cute. Look at that. That is adorable. I'll bring you guys up closer in a second. And the pink one. Oh my God, they're so freaking cute. Okay, there's the pink one. You can see all the flowers and the sparkles. And the blue one, you can see all of that and the pretty sparkles. Oh my God, they're so cute. I love that. That's how they look in normal light. Those are pretty cute, you guys. I really do like the pink one a lot. The blue one, I actually really like all the sparkles and stuff on too. So for just doing kind of random stuff, I think they're not too bad for cute little candle holders, you guys. Tell me what All right, you guys, so that's them done. Let me know how you guys felt. They turned out pretty darn cute and I'm definitely gonna just use them as candle holders because you can see the light through them and they have cute little sparkles. So can't really go wrong. But next time you guys, I do have a full plan and I'm gonna be trying out some new techniques. So please stick around for next week. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys are all really doing okay out there and keeping sane. So don't forget to like and subscribe, you guys, because I have tons of more stuff to come at you with. You know, my mind never stops, and it's just an endless supply of creativity in there. So just stay tuned for what's coming at you guys next. I hope everybody has a really good rest of your day, and I will see you guys next time for my exciting next project.